If I were to hire an SEO company for five to $10,000 a month, these are the things that I would check. If there's anything you think I missed, please leave it in the comments. And I'm curious about what you all think about each of these. So let's jump in. One. If I were gonna spend five to $10,000 a month on an SEO company, this is how I would go about vetting them. I've been doing SEO for over a decade. I've run an agency for about seven years now. So knowing how the sausage is made, this is what I would do. First, probably most importantly, I would want a proposal with a very clear statement of work. Lots of SEO companies present proposals that basically say nothing about what they're going to actually do. I have a meeting with a company that we will possibly be collaborating with, with a client next week, and the proposal doesn't out line one single thing that they're going to do other than promise that they're going to get a certain amount of leads and that they're going to have them on page one for keywords but they don't outline what any of those keywords are going to be all of this is a red flag under a red neon sign flashing be careful number two i would only consider companies that have worked in my industry previously you don't want to pay some company for 90 days just to learn the basics of your industry i've been on the other end of that it's challenging i was up to the challenge but it is arguably an unnecessary expense when there are companies out there that already know your industry. In addition, they're coming to the table with knowledge that they've learned from the other clients that they, they can apply to you without having to really experiment. I would look at their company's LinkedIn. Someone that is vetting us, for example, can very easily come over to our LinkedIn, look at the people and take a look at their titles. Green flag is someone that has the word SEO in their title. A red flag is that you're hiring them to do SEO and one out of every 40 people have the title, have the word SEO in their title. This is never going to be the case at a place that specializes in SEO and will always be the case when they are offshoring it to Eastern Europe or Southern Asia, where I'm not sorry to say you're not going to get the same quality results that you'll get from a place in the US or UK. I'd wanna know how they do their own lead generation. Companies that have speakers that are very well known on the conference circuit, for example, tend to be higher quality. Often this means that other people in their own industries think that they're good at what they do and they're interested in hearing what they have to say. If they do any sort of local or industry specific SEO, I personally would also want to see that their own website is ranking well for the types of queries that they would want to target. Just like I wouldn't want to hire a personal trainer that is overweight or super skinny, I personally wouldn't want to hire an SEO company that hasn't managed to rank its own website for anything. Next, I wouldn't hire an SEO company that's just starting to scale. We've already gone through it. Scaling is hard. The change from being two or three people that are doing SEO to 10 or 15 people doing SEO often is a period in which a lot of stuff falls through the cracks. We lived through this a couple years ago. Uh, we've luckily gotten past it, but I can tell you that it was not the best time for you to be working with us. And I'm 100% positive that that's the case with every other SEO agency on the planet. Luckily, we've figured it out at this point, for the most part. After you hear these things, I'm really interested in what you think I may have missed and maybe things that you would look for. So please leave it in the comments. One.